Hello folks, welcome back to our tips and tricks series of Dot 2 video clips. Now we have finished our four clips about Dot 2 3D, so we know this a little bit better. And now we go on with the normal tips and tricks, the normal ones, and today we want to talk about replace. This is Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support in Germany, and we show you how replace works. I've prepared a little queue list which is here, this is the main queue list, and I have a preparation queue where you see fixture number one prepares to do something, we can see that in 3D as well. Just example queues, this is queue number two, the dimmer opens, it was positioned before, all fine, this is queue number three, it fades to yellow and rotates a gobo. Just like I said, a little examples. Then it fades to full open and to red. And the last one is a rotating prisma. Just as an example, you have worked for ages on this list and everything is fine. And then your director comes or somebody else comes and says, you can't use fixture number one. Could you please do the same with fixture number two? We need fixture number one to light up something else. Whoopa. This is where replace can be very helpful. And I show you now first the complete or the very correct command line way to do it. But first, <laughs> I, need, I need to know which fixture does it at the moment, which fixture I want to, or this is the one I want to replace by which one, by number two. And in what queue list are we working? We are working here. By pressing the MA button, you see this is executor number 0.1.1. So these are the three informations I need to know. Which one does it, which one should do it, and what is the queue list that we talk about. So MA move gives you the command replace. Replace fixture number one. And pressing again move gives you with. Replace fixture number one with fixture number two. That's the command. Now we need to say in which list, in what, on what executor. And this is done by if. Replace fixture 1 with fixture 2. If executor 0.1.1, please. The replace objects operation would change five objects. These are my five queues. And there are 20 changes of values that needs to be replaced. Okay, and you see this is magic. Now fixture number two does what it should be. Prepositions, it opens the dimmer, it fades to yellow and does a rotating gobo, it fades to red and opens up and the prisma all working. Now fixture number one can do the other job. This was nice. Now I, now I show you a little bit quicker way, because the console understands quite well what you want. So a quicker way to save some button presses. MA move gives you replace. Replace fixture one with, pressing again move gives you with, two. You don't need to say fixture. Replace fixture one with two. If, and now press directly the button. You don't need to say executor 0.1.1. Replace fixture 1 with 2 if this list. Oh, I have already from 1 to 2. Now I have to say it the other way. My fault. So, replace fixture 2 with 1 if this list. 5 queues, 20 changes, and we are back in the game. You can replace fixtures. Very, very helpful. Very quick command. You can also replace presets. Let's say this shouldn't be yellow. I mean, you can edit your cube, you can do whatever, but you can re use replace as well. So, the command, and now I show you directly the quicker way. Mm, yeah, I show you the longer way first, the very correct one. So, MA move gives you replace. Preset. This is yellow. My yellow is coming from a preset. So this is a preset name in your fixture sheet, sheet style. 
replace preset 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot 13, replace preset 4, dot 13, with magenta, preset 4.20. If we learn this here. Okay, one object, there's only one Q where it is, and three changes are RGB or CMY, my values. Okay, now you have, or we have replaced the yellow for the magenta. And of course, this replace can help you to be very quick. This is skip about my main Q list here, and I'll show you my little color change. Chasers that I've done. This is my home queue. I want it to be narrow. And this is the color chase that I talk about. If we watch the fixture sheet, you can see from light pink to white. Mm. But it's a color chase. Okay. What I do now to do be quicker is I copy this chaser to here. So this one. Does exactly looks the same. I've copied it, but in this one I replace the colors. I don't like this light pink that's in there. So MA move if MA move gives you the replace command. Replace this preset with this one. If this list. Please. See what we've done. In a few seconds, we have replaced, or we've copied this one to here. And on the second chaser, we change the color. You can be so quick. This is a replace command. So you can replace fixtures. You can replace groups, which is nothing else than a selection, which are fixtures. That's not so spectacular. So you can replace fixtures or groups and presets. And you're really quick with that. And the great thing is, if you don't like it, you can oops yourself back. So even temporary on stage, I mean, this is brutal, you will see that. But for disco or something, if the singer says, where's my yellow, replace blah, blah, with this one, and you're done. Then you either oops it or not, but you can double your chasers in seconds and change it. That's the replace command, folks. So... Thank you for watching. This was Michael Quincy Strutman. We are done and see you next week with the next Tips and Tricks video. Take care. Bye.